guys have it. There's my eBay personal mechanical shop. We're going to be doing the uh, YouTube videos in and all that other stuff. Let's walk you guys inside of me, voice some stuff over, and explain to you guys what we did. All right, we're in. So this is it. This is the A-Bay mechanical shop I built as an addition to Speed Recovery Finish Network, the buy shop we got right behind us. I built the shop for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a tax write-off. Y'all know I got a mobile auto body business that's gonna be used to maintain my mobile auto body fleet. So we're gonna use it as a good old tax write-off. Number two, which is the main, I would say the more important reason, quality of work you can't really do mechanical work and body work in the same shop you can but you got risk of cross contamination fish eyes everything like that so you know i was always paranoid every single time i had a drop of oil in the body shop i always got like crazy paranoid like oh man it's gonna you know it's gonna boom, whatever it's gonna mess up my paint jobs and i was just simply tired of the stress so we have a full garage over here now that we can turn wrenches, drop as much oil as we want. I know for sure that Mustang's leaking a little bit of oil right now. And you know what? I mean, we got this epoxy floor. I'll have another video coming on that. It wipes right off. And the third uh, reason is, is when I have new customers, you know, a lot of these cars are my finished cars. You know, I, this is kind of like a showcase for me. I can, you know, showcase my work. Hey, this is a $100 paint job. This is a $150 paint job. Or, you know, hey, this is this quality type of job, and this is what you can expect to get for this money. But yep, from the ground up, as you guys saw in the video, we built this shop from the ground up. I got this piece of land that I'm sitting on right now with my body shop um, as a package deal. And through negotiation with the borough, the codes department, flood, flood management, uh, they allowed us to build this as a, uh, a substructure or uh, the, the building sub sublet whatever um, onto the existing shop over there this is basically just a spare storage area got it to go through and we started building we started cutting trees down we got the concrete um, you know and once the concrete was in the building came a couple months later and uh, here we are. We got uh, you know about about four thousand dollars worth of electrical. Um, I'll get more into the the cost details and stuff like that in another video. I just wanted to show you guys you know what I've been working on for the last year and a half without telling literally any of you. I told maybe like a few people, and there's of course a few you know locals. They all saw it. I couldn't really hide a you know, four thousand square foot shop. But here we are, guys. You know this is it. You know if you got a dream, you got a vision. You you know you make uh, you make decent money. Uh, and you got a goal, you know, you got drive in life, you know, this is, this is, this is what you can have. This is definitely what you can have. Um, a lot of these cars I bought and never even really posted about them. Um, never posted about the 636 that I bought back there. I've just been buying a lot of stuff, stuffing it in here and just waiting to show you guys. So a lot of you guys are wondering the specs of the building. So it is 30 wide and 120 foot long. Um, we got eight 10 by 10 doors, and this is one 14 by, I think it's 14 foot tall and 12 foot wide or something like that door. It, it's a big door. You could pull a tractor trailer through if you want to. You guys are wondering, yes, we are going to be putting a bathroom in here in the future. I got all this cut out. I'm going to do something different with this floor. Um, possibly a small little, you know, kitchenette, just like a, a countertop with some cabinets and like a toaster oven, just something simple and like a, like a sink. So we're all plumbed out. We got, you know, our poop pipe. We got our water feed. Uh, that's a sink, shower, if I put one in, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a bathroom in the future. You know, everything's not 100%, 100% done yet. But, you know, the shop is operational. You know, I got a toolbox, got tools. I can pull cars in turn wrenches on them. Um, yes, I'm going to be putting a two post lift in the very back bay where the Mustang is uh, in probably the next couple months. Um, you know, that is coming, but I just want to show you guys, man, like I, I have been working so hard on this. Like there's so many times I wanted to give up. So many times I wanted to give in. Um, so many times I lost motivation. I didn't want to push forward and we finally pushed forward. We got it done. We got it to pass codes. You know, it passes flood management, whatever. Got the electrical in. You know, this was a hassle in itself. I think there's a total of 40, L, uh, you know, little LED lights or four foot lights. You know, this place is lit up. Got the plumbing in. The plumbing's all legit, all professionally installed. You know, it, it, was, a, it was a lot to go through this. 
And I'm going to get more into this on my other video. I understand why a lot of people, a lot of small minded people don't like to do this stuff from the ground up because it is a hassle. It is a process. Realistically, could I use a project manager? Absolutely. But like I said, we got her done. There was no project manager. I was the project manager. I was the one making all the calls and organizing everything. Um, it was, it was very hard. Um, but we got it done, man. We got it done. We got a lot of cars in here, a lot of nice cars. So another big question a lot of you guys are going to ask, a lot of you guys are going to ask, well, what are you going to use the garage for? You're just going to put cars in it? You're just going to, you know, piddle around here? No, we are actually going to be expanding the YouTube page. We're going to be doing, you know, performance content over here, uh, you know, possibly some TIG welding stuff. Well, I know we're going to be doing TIG welding stuff, just a matter of time. But more so focused on mechanical content, performance content. Um, you know, we got to do some tuning to this old Trans Am. It's got, it's running good, but it's not running like perfect. Got to do some stuff with that. We got the Accord. I know you guys probably wonder where the Accord was. Had it stuffed away in this place. Uh, I haven't been driving all winter. It's, you know, it's all cleaned up. Just sitting here, just staying shiny, staying rust-free. And I know y'all have been wondering where Wing Wang was. Right in here. Been sitting, <laughs> once again, just been sitting in storage. We got my EK with the GSR swap in it. We got the Black SI that we just finished. We got the Mustang we just finished over there. So, you know, like I said, I've just been... You know, this is, this is where we're going to do our more so performance-based content. We're going to be doing bolt-on installation. As you guys can see, probably one of my first videos over here is going to be uh, this, the SI. We got this uh, Amazon um, performance exhaust. Honestly, guys, I got this exhaust for $116. Got my 636 over here. This is my baby right here. This thing's only got 6,000 miles on it. It's pretty much almost a brand new bike. I bought this once again. Didn't tell anybody pretty much. And we got a Dong Yang, eBay, Chinese, whatever you want to call it, uh, exhaust we're going to put on it. I'm going to do a video on that for you crotch rocket guys who watch my page. So we got lots of exciting new stuff coming for Speed of Cover Finish Network. I'm kind of getting burnt out on the paint videos and I think a lot of you guys are getting burnt out on the paint videos as well. So I want to switch it up. I want to make some new content. Um, you know, I just want to just mix it up and just have fun. I, you know, I'm, I'm here for you guys, man. Like, you know, I, I just want to make new content that's going to keep you guys interested, keep everybody interested, um, kind of expand my market, expand the crowd of people that are watching. And all in all, guys, you guys already know the slogan, make cars great again. Um, and now that I have a full eight bay freaking mechanical shop, uh, now we can do unlimited mechanical stuff over here and not even be bothered by the bodywork over there. You know, it's, it, it just, this is like the, this is like the Mac daddy setup. Body shop right over there, mechanical shop right over here, separate the two, you know, put the finished cars over here, all shined up, put a couple bolt-on stuff on them, blow performance parts, whatever, um, do some detailing over here, whatever. Like, this is just the Mac Daddy setup. Like, my body shop is literally right over there. That's where it is, okay? It's, cat, it's a catty corner, and it's like a diagonal. So if you walk diagonally, like, this is, this is where the shop is. You walk straight over. So this is, like, a really great setup. Um, for any car guy uh, that, that wants to do this type of work. And this is just an awesome setup. All right, guys, so look, I'm gonna start, stop rambling, excuse me. Um, I just wanna show you guys what I did, what I've been working on for the last year and a half, what I've been quiet about. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, watch my next video. I am going to break down the exact cost of what I paid, pandemic prices, by the way. Pandemic prices, just gonna throw that out there what I paid dollar for dollar to get a garage like this built. I am also going to be having a video on how to epoxy your floors and make sure they don't peel, chip. Um, I hit these floors with 3,000 PSI of pressure, pressure washer, whatever. Um, 3,000 PSI of water and I didn't get a single chip um, it's got the couple, you know, a couple stains in a couple spots. It's a bright color. It's very, very hard to keep clean, but it is very durable. I will have a very detailed video on how to do that. You guys should really watch. I have the product I used, the full process, and I did it 100% on my own without a crew. And I was quoted $28,000 to get it done. And they had a five-man crew. It was just me. I did it all by myself. Very proud of that. We'll have further videos as well, doing the bathroom install, installing the lift, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, new videos every week. <laughs>